All right, guys, went back today with another high value shotgun option, and this is actually the Stevens 320 and has been requested on the channel time and time again. I love to review high value and budget items that actually works, and the Stevens 320 fits that motto perfectly. Yet I've never tried one out. And a huge thanks to Beltway Gun and Pond located in Matthews, North Carolina. They give me a store credit once a month to help me purchase a firearm to review on the channel. And this month I selected the Stevens 320. It walked in used but in light new condition. If you're unfamiliar with Beltway, I do a ton of pawn shop find videos. Definitely check out that last one. We found some really cool stuff. Also, if you tell Beltway I sent you over, you get 10% off of anything in their shop. So definitely tell them if you head in there and purchase something, you'll save yourself some money that way. Now, what makes this a good firearm at a good price? And a lot of things that I look at in a budget shotgun is not only just the price, but it's ergonomics, it's reliability, and it's user interface and how it functions and feels down at the range. My gold standard for this is the Maverick 88, which is made by Mossberg, pretty much a Mossberg 500, with a few different components swapped out to make it a little bit more affordable. That is an awesome option. That is one of my favorite options for a high value and budget shotgun, but a lot of times they can creep up to about $250, and this one falls in about the same price category. A lot of times, though, you can find both of these guns for a little bit cheaper, and both of them have their strengths and weaknesses, but the Savage Stevens 320 has really blown me away at the quality and performance. Will it knock out the Maverick 88? I'll leave that up to you guys, but if I had to pick one over the other, I'm still really liking that Maverick 88, but this one has a few advantages that I like a little bit more, so kind of a toss-up in my mind. Both of them are going to be good options, but let's start off with the basics. This is a five plus one round shotgun with an 18 and a half inch barrel and a grip slash stock combination, as well as a cross trigger safety located in the front right here. It's incredibly ergonomic and it feels very well when shouldered, actually flows very nicely and it has a good length of pull. I'm about 5'8", and this fits me perfectly, although I could see it working with somebody a little bit larger or a little bit smaller than my frame, and it feels very nice. One of the complaints I have with some of the Mavericks is the way that the slide goes out so far, it's almost hard to get a good hold on it right out of the box. It feels like the length of pull between the rear of the stock and the grip and up front of the slide of the Maverick is a little bit long. This one flows perfectly. Ergonomically, it feels great. It's got very smooth and chamfered edges. It also has a nice, very smooth surface up here, so you can put your cheek wherever you want on this stock, allowing it to be incredibly comfortable. The other nice thing is this has a very comfortable recoil pad, not overly spongy, not very like gaudy and cheesy with huge cutouts. It's just very nicely done. It also looks good and feels good. One complaint though, it's a little bit smooth, but it does have some nice texturing up here in case your hands get wet, something to consider. And then up front, which I absolutely love about the ergonomics is it's got this swooping cutout where your hand fits perfectly. Up here, if you want a little bit longer length of pull, or you can put your hand in the back where it's got some grips in a spot for a little bit shorter length of pull. So they really figured this out whether you want to grab it at the front or at the rear. A few other things I want to discuss. There are a lot of different options of the Stevens 320, just like the Maverick 88s. So you can get some with heat shields, ghost ring sights, 
pick rails uh, with a standard stock. You can get field models. This is just one of the models I selected, and I can you can grab this right around 230 to 250, depending on where you're looking. Sometimes I've even seen them as cheap as 180, 170. So those are going to be very good deals that you can grab online. Some of the models I actually looked at before shipping rates were coming in at about 170 to 175. The best way to find a lot of these is kind of like I do, search around. I found this one at Beltway, and you can also always check out my campsite page. Um, uh, it, but definitely uh, give Beltway a call because they're always getting used and new things in all the time. The other cool thing about this shotgun is it's incredibly smooth down at the range. And that's very key. I've tried a lot of budget pump shotguns lately. A lot of the Turkish imports and they are not very smooth, especially when shooting fast. And that's something that the Mossberg Maverick does very well. It's very smooth shooting down at the range. This one is also very smooth shooting. This one has a loading gate, but it doesn't catch your thumb like a lot of other budget loading gates. You can really get it in there. And I have no worry of catching my thumb if you're putting it in there at the right angle. So this works out great. And I love what they've done with this loading gate. Now the Maverick 88 doesn't have a loading gate, um, but the loading gate's not a big deal if they do it correctly. I do love the position of the safety. It's very audible, it's very tactile. Um, one thing though that this does is it's got the slide release right here on the side that you depress. And so when you are holding a shotgun, you actually have to break your grip slightly, at least for me anyway, to rock it over to rock that slide back to chamber the round if it's already locked into place. The other cool thing about this, and we'll make sure it's clear, made sure it's clear 100 times, there's the red follower. When you go and pull the trigger, it's actually a pretty smooth take up to a defined wall. It has a very crisp break for a shotgun. And at this point, the slide immediately unlatches so you can directly pull it back. Now, some other budget shotguns, when you pull that trigger, that slide is still locked if you're pulling to the rear. That means you have to let off pressure then once you let off pressure, then you can slide it. That is incredibly frustrating, and the 320 does not do this, and that's why I absolutely love this gun. There's like no complaints about it. It functions great, it works great, it was incredibly smooth down at the range, incredibly reliable, and then the slide immediately unlocks when you pull the trigger, and that allows you to get incredibly fast shots. I mean, you can rattle off shots with this, and I can fire this just as fast as the Maverick 88. Probably the Maverick and Mossbergs, as well as this, are the two fastest pump action shotguns I've taken down at the range, because again, that immediately unlocks when you pull the trigger. I'm gonna be continuing to shoot this and try it out um, because I absolutely love it. We'll see if we can get different models, different versions. I would love to see this with a, a longer tube to get more rounds in it. This one holds five plus one, so six rounds, which is pretty formidable, but I would love to see them do just an extra extension at the end of this shotgun up to the end of the barrel, and it would be darn near perfect at this point, and really would overtake the Maverick pound for pound when it comes to price. The Maverick does offer a lot of uh, eight round tube models, but those barrels are a little bit longer. So it's kind of a give and take depending on which shotgun you're gonna select. But honestly, the Stevens 320 is one of my favorites. One of my favorite budget pump action shotguns. And I was kind of shocked and surprised that that happened. Um, that's why I love going out and trying new things that I normally wouldn't try. This channel allows me to push the limits of what I think I need because I don't need another pump shotgun. I grabbed this one to review, I grabbed this one to try out, and then actually fell in love with it during the review process, and I think you'll like it too. This is a great high value option. Again, a huge shout out to Beltway for helping out the channel with this one, and uh, you never know, you might run into me there. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.